the field. And yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Tough day. Tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Over, 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 over. Here we go now. No, 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 no. Check. Wins to throw on second down. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Third and four. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. From the gun on third down, Wentz. Oh, shit. And look at this, they get the turnover they needed, it's intercepted. Oh, That's all by Dayong Buchanan. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they got something going, and it's like they can... And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. We talk about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Now it's Palmer. Bro, where's my safety going? He's not even a receiver, right? He's a fucking return, man. Yards. And the Cardinals have taken oh, the lead wow. here in the fourth. Catanzaro now for the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. Now Catanzaro after the touchdown to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Again, they'll run it. Again, it's Sproles. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. There are so many times during camp and practice that you get bored as a player doing regular drills. But how about that shed and skate drill right there by the linebacker? You do it each and every day, get the blocker away, and get into the backfield and make a big-time tackle. That's nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Marcus Golden, he's the one that gets him down. It'll be a loss of five, and it'll bring up fourth down. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Uh, here we go. No, 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 no. Check. Patrick. Patrick. Now Wentz, got to have this one. And no, it's incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. They'll 
Throw on first down here with Palmer. Caught on the left side, Fitzgerald. Give him nine on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Second down, Palmer. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. That nigga's a ball hog, bro. Oh, my damn. This offense, they went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold But he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the one. Oh, I should have ran to that hole that game. Now we'll see what his offense can do. The tackle made there by Dayon Buchanan. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Now Wentz will keep it. Just a one-yard pick up there and it'll be fourth down. Well, they gave it a shot. Quarterback sneak, not able to get it. No, but if you're going to call a QB sneak on third down, you draw it up to get it. Yeah, no doubt about it. Maybe they were thinking four down territory. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. It's a sneak. It's Wentz. They'll give him a yard on the play. And they're able to convert here on fourth and inches. So is there a place on the scoreboard for guts? Because they've got to get extra for that one. Picked up the first down, but that's an extremely risky call that deep in their own territory. Yeah, where do you think is safe? you got to be across midfield, right? I would think so. I mean, that's where you Safe is the right word. Across midfield does that. If you're a little bit more of a gambler, depending on situation. But this one backed up this far. That was risky. Hey, sneak work. And now they're in the hurry up. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Bruh, you had that. He was looking to hit Ryan Matthews there out of the backfield. And it's second down. Second down following the incompletion. He'll look to throw. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And how about the dime look here? Six DBs on third and inches. Daring them to run the ball. Back to throw. And able to complete it to Green Beckham. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that and have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Oh. Those types of plays that can oh. knock the defense off balance Bro, and drive the team towards the victory. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. Back to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. 
While we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore, I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion and both sides trying to get to the football and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. So a third and ten, and defensively, a dime look. Six DBs. He's back to throw. Green Beckham has it over the middle. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Five yards on the pickup, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. Now here's a timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So with next to nothing left on the clock, they get Charles what should be the game-winning touchdown catch. That felt so much <laughs> like practice and coming together. So now, if so I lose this game, I'm blaming the fucking uh, everything the on the fucking field, bro. Everyone leaves the field feeling good about themselves. They got it done for real in this situation. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. Look at the clock. Everyone knows the situation. Probably time here for one final play. And we know what that play is going to be. It's got to be some sort of Hail Mary throwing it towards the end zone and hoping someone can catch it or catch it off of a tip. Think back to 2015. Didn't we see Green Bay pull that off twice in the season? Once in the regular season, once in the playoffs. So stranger things have happened. It'd be interesting to see the defensive strategy. Let's go, Vaughn. Let's go, Vaughn. You can't beat me, young nigga. You can't beat me young, nigga. What you talking about? You got know me fucked up. You can't beat me, young young bull. You can't beat me. Straight like that. You can't beat me. I'm too great. Way too great. Zach fucking hurt to the rescue. Come on, man. Get in tune, man. If you press square, they put the dive. But the dude you was on anyway, you was on the middle linebacker. Like, I, I threw the ball too high for him, and there was just nobody in that coverage. And I threw it, like, the second I had the ball. It was a fast-ass fucking, uh, a fast-ass, uh, what you call it? Record now, Vaughn 3 2. Uh, 
Ha. Ha.